Hey everyone, welcome back to Sibrov. In this video, I will be sharing a few powerful methods to fix Valorant packet loss. And this will be applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now make sure that you do not skip any part because I'm very sure by the end of this video, your packet loss problem will be surely fixed. Now first you need to bring up your Valorant game. Then you have to bring up the setting by pressing the escape key. Then from the top menu option, click on video. Then click on stats. Now here is scroll down to packet loss and make sure that it's been enabled in the text graph or both option so that you can notice that what kind of packet loss you are getting. Once done, you can minimize everything. And then we have to run few important powerful commands. So you will be getting all this command in the description. So click on your Windows search, type CMD. Right click on the command prompt, choose run as administrator. Then click on yes the black window will be up now here the first command that you will have to type will be ip config space forward slash plus dns hit the enter key next will be ip config space forward slash register dns hit the enter key again now type ip config space forward slash release then type ip config space forward slash renew then type netsh space winsock space reset and the last command will be netcfg space minus d all right so after typing all this command hit the enter key and once the command has been completed you need to make a right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on task manager now here from the top menu option here you have to click on network so once you click on the network, it will display all kind of application that is consuming the high bandwidth. So leaving Valorant and the Riot client, you can have a look on the other kind of application and services and whichever is consuming the high bandwidth, you can just make a right click on it and choose end task. Additionally, I would also recommend that kindly go ahead and close all the other application that you are not using while playing the valorant game or while doing any kind of gaming this is very recommended this will be saving your high consumption and even the high bandwidth all right so once you are done close everything now click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key and here you will find all kind of your network connection so ethernet wi-fi whichever you are using now it's very recommended that you should go and switch to your ethernet connection the lan connection instead of using the wi-fi because you will be getting more stable connection in ethernet that will be avoiding the packet loss so once you come on your connection right click on it choose properties then you have to click on configure this will bring up another box now here from the top menu option only click on power management and just uncheck this option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck it then from the top menu option only click on advanced now here first you have to look for energy efficient ethernet just make sure this option has been disabled then you have to look for green ethernet disable it then look for power saving mode disable it now we are disabling basically all kind of setting that try to save the power instead of giving you the best performance and then finally you have to look for a speed and duplex click on it then from the right hand side choose to highest that is one gbps full duplex now click on ok again make a right click on your ethernet connection properties here look for internet protocol version 4 double click on it now here you have to select the second option that says use the following dns server address and in the preferred you have to either go with google or cloudflare both ip address you will find in the description in the preferred i will be using the cloud so that will be 1.1.1.1 and in the alternate it will be 1 0 0 and 1 then click on ok click ok again and now you can close it and then finally you have to right click on the windows icon again then click on device manager from the suggestion and here just assure that your network adapter and the graphic card both are up to date 
So first you can look for display adapter or double click on it then it will display whichever graphic card you're using right click on it choose update driver click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available and you are connected to internet then it will automatically update it now probably we just ran a command that will be disabling your internet connection so what you can do you can restart your computer and then you can come back to this option then update the driver because you will be needing a, the internet connection so go with this option once updated then you can come to network adapter now look for the adapter through which you are connected so you can go with the wi-fi or the lan whichever you are using again right click update driver click search automatically for drivers and update all kind of drivers if the updates are available it's good and if not then no problem then you should go back and restart your pc again restart your game and check back i'm very sure now you will find a great change and the packet loss on your valorant game will be fixed hopefully guys this all solution will work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe so that i can bring more videos like this for you and if you have any doubt then let me know in the comment section and i catch you in the next video bye bye